Daniel 2.35, see, V'avna di machat l'zalma havat l'atur rav umalat kol ara. And that brings us to the end of the verse, the saluk sof pasuk. And as a reminder, we just finished reading up to the atnach before Daniel 2.35, see. So we begin here with this conjunction, and we have the stone and the stone, relative marker, and then this is the first of several all perfect third feminine singular. And of course, it's third feminine singular because it's matching this subject, which is feminine, the stone. And the stone that struck, direct object marker, struck what? The image. And then Havav hey, Haver, hey, right? That's another all perfect third feminine singular, became direct object marker became a tour, Rav. And that brings us to a Tifcha accent. And that ends up being actually the major pause between the Atnach and the Saluk Sof Pasuk. So we'll discuss up to there. So what did the stone become? Well, it became whatever this is here. Latur Rav. Tet Vav Resh. In biblical Hebrew, it's a word that's not related. It's, it's row, not a column, but a row, that word. But what we see as a cognate in biblical Hebrew is the alternation of tet, Aramaic, tzadi, Hebrew. And you can see this alternation of consonant on page three in biblical Aramaic for biblical interpreters, where in biblical Hebrew, tzur means rock or stone. Of course, there's a word that carries a similar meaning as this Aramaic word in Biblical Hebrew, har, mountain. So tur, tzur, and har in Biblical Hebrew, there are many more instances of than the two instances of tur in Biblical Aramaic, which mean mountain. So the stone became a mountain, and then we have conjunction, and here we have the verb of filling, also pa'al perfect, third feminine singular, all the earth. So going back to the beginning, and the stone that struck the image became a great mountain that filled all the earth.